everyone and welcome to episode 5 of Pokemon Mashups. This suggestion was given by Awesome Gaming Bros and it's Charizard and Pyro from Team Fortress 2. Now this one took a lot longer than usual. Uh, Charizard's actually quite a bit more detailed than I initially thought. He's got all these like knuckles on his wings and it's like drawing hands all over again. <laughs> Ah, uh, man, also a lot of detail on, uh, well, just about everything, so that's why over here I'm uh, using my little box method. I just drag in a uh, box and then adjust the lines from there for uh, shapes, and that way you have something that already uh, has a closed shape entirely. Copying out the wing over here, just making some adjustments. Hmm. Yeah, this one was definitely a lot of fun. I really like the suggestion. I mean, you can't go wrong with a dragon that also has a flamethrower. That's that's just awesome. I uh, scaled up his eye a little bit here because I uh, thought it would be uh, looking a little bit better. Sort of uh, goggle zoomed in if he has that uh, gas mask thing going on. Just throwing in some color to test out how it looks. Now for uh, something with this kind of design. I definitely prefer to have the, uh, the form underneath and then put the extra clothing stuff on top like the gas mask. So started with the head first and mostly conformed everything else there. <laughs> Dragon boots. So just so you guys know, I am actually working on another animation as well. I'm uh, not going to only do these Pokemon mashup things. Of course there will be other things uh, coming in. It's just, oh man, even though this one took a while, it's so much faster to do, you know, a couple drawings rather than <laughs> full animation. But thank you for being patient if you're only waiting for animation. I've definitely noticed that the uh, of the videos I've done so far of the uh, Pokemon mashup series, in any case, the uh, Steven Universe one has definitely got the most popularity so far. It could just be that uh, it's the one I started off with, or maybe that I spent more uh, time doing that one with a few more poses, but uh, I'm starting to think that my audience currently uh, has a favorite show that's the same as mine. Which is great, because I do actually want to do a little bit more uh, Steven Universe stuff, and, and Undertale too. Well, you know, just keep on branching out too. Uh, so much fun. There was a good couple of Steven Bombs uh, recently. Very entertaining. For uh, those of you unfamiliar with the terms, it's just like a week straight of episodes, one every day. It's, uh, they've got kind of a weird release um, <laughs> uh, way that they do things. But back to Pokemon here. I uh, grabbed a, another reference image for just seeing how they uh, do fire. And they do it in a variety of different ways. They've changed from season to season, uh, but I really like this uh, stylistic way. Nice and simple. Well degree of simple. It's uh, It really lets me <laughs> add all the vector stuff in there. can never go wrong with too much fire. No such thing as too much fire. More fire the better. Here I'm just dividing up the head so I can actually move the fire into the mouth, have it overlap. Uh, here I've also just copied out the line work and broken everything apart so there's no more overlaps and with that I can throw in all this shading. The shading was uh, kind of tricky because he's got three different light sources going on. So that's yeah, pretty cool. Use the smooth tool which is pretty much like the make it awesome bust button. It just it cleans up so much of your work for you. So start off with the rough, added in more details, did some cleanup over here, threw in the fire effects, added a bit of transparency and blur to them, added the shading in and it's done. Uh, for those of you who want to actually uh, get a hold of these images just as they're complete, uh, you can check them out on my Tumblr. I usually post a link to them in the description. But before you go, please do like and subscribe and share this as well. If you have uh, more suggestions for a character and a Pokemon or a trainer that you'd like to mash it up with, then uh, let me know in the comments. Alright, thanks again for watching. See you later.